Hello everybody! Today you are going to witness the first crude lunar landing. I've decided to choose the brute force option and planned the uh, direct ascent method. It means that the whole command module will land on the moon and there will be no separate lander. It is a more demanding mission profile than the well-known Apollo-style approach, so I've designed a new class of rocket, Naga. It uses extremely toxic pentaburon, which gives really good specific impulse. Mass of the whole assembly is over 3,500 tons, and the maximum thrust reaches 50 meganewtons. And we have a liftoff. Naga Medium is rising quickly. Everything is going according to the plan. Until one of the engines shuts down. Fortunately, guidance system manages to compensate for the off-center thrust. Rocket is configured with boosters cross-feeding to the core, so fuel is used evenly from both boosters. Despite losing some thrust, I've decided to continue the mission, as it seems that even with slightly more gravity losses, Naga will bring the craft to orbit successfully. Boosters and first stage were jettisoned without issues, and second stage gets 215 tons to low Earth orbit. Transfer stage powered by three NK31s engines accelerates the craft to almost 11 km per second, putting in on the collision course with the moon. Some minor adjustments were made with the RCS thrusters to fine tune the approach. The translunar stage is jettisoned, and solar panels are extended to provide electricity for the trip. Insertion burn puts the lander on a nice slightly elliptical orbit with periapsis of about 20 km. X405s reignite and begin landing burn. They will perform most of the deceleration. After exhausting fuel, stage separates and a final landing approach is performed by landing and return stage. In this moment I've started to worry about my delta V, as the margins became a bit too small, but it still should be fine for safe return. Landing itself was quite easy thanks to the throttling of the engines. Success! First astronauts have reached lunar surface. The 
Robert Wagner, Matthias Schmidt and Ronald Lewis made history. While on surface, they have collected surface samples and made some reports on their EVA experiences. And of course, they have planted the flag as a symbolic gesture of conquering the moon. Their visit was quite short and they got ready to come back to Earth. And here we have another problem. One of the extremely reliable engines have failed to ignite. The craft still has enough TWR for liftoff, but just barely. It means that the ascent will create additional gravity losses. Combining that with low delta V left in the tanks, it suddenly got really serious. At least the engines have been angled to, to point them through the center of mass, so the landers flies quite well with just two engines. Even one would be fine. About to reach the orbit, I knew that I don't have enough fuel. I wouldn't be able to send a rescue craft in time, so I've decided to go full Mark Watney and to remove all the parts of the craft I don't need anymore. Landing legs, ladders and docking port, as well as the faulty engines were detached, which increased the delta V just enough to perform a trans-earth burn. But of course I forgot about the residuals, which is the leftover fuel that cannot be used by the engines. I was 100 meters per second short, but luckily RCS don't care about residuals, so I've used them to finish the burn. I've ended up with last 40 meters per second of delta V, which is 0.2% of the delta V I've started the mission with. So after all, I've managed to return to Earth. Capsule has detached from the service module and oriented itself heat shield first. Right, heat shield. I guess it would be wiser to use the lunar rated heat shield instead of the Leo rated one. This major design flaw was fatal. RCS ports and parachutes burned up after hitting the atmosphere and the crew faced the inevitable end as the capsule exploded 55 kilometers over the surface. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you again in my next video.